Hey friends, there's a lot of new makeup products at the drugstore so I thought I'd pick up some brand new ones and I also got some drugstore makeup as Christmas gifts. So today I have a brand new drugstore haul and review with some demos and swatches. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to review, I found it at Rite Aid. The packaging just like instantly like drew me in. I was like, ooh, a bow, I have to see what it is. It's the Physician's Formula and it's their Nude Wear Blush in Natural. It's a glowing nude blush and it comes in like four colors but then when you put it on you kind of like combine them all together to put them on. It's the blush that I have on right now but I did get heavy handed just so that you guys can see it and I think this blush is beautiful. It's very natural looking so if you're not into pinks or plums this is perfect. It's like a peachy pink color and I noticed that like I don't find my, my skin color too dark or too tanned at the moment because it's winter but I do notice that I have to apply it twice to actually see some color or even three times so it's not very pigmented if you have like maybe a medium to dark skin tone but if you're very fair it would show up a little bit more but overall I like it and I'm going to continue using it and in addition to that the packaging is so pretty it comes with a mirror in the back and a brush that I don't really like using and then the bow is really cute and then again Again, the colors barely have shimmers on it and uh, it the blush kind of has a smell to it like it kind of smells like the physicians formula sexy booster glow blush that I was talking about in my 2013 beauty favorites it has like a very light scent sweet scent I'm, I'm saying chocolate but I'm not sure kind of like cocoa or something but I like the way it smells the next new item at the drugstore is the wet n wild mega clear mascara it's a mascara that you can use for your lashes if you don't like wearing like black or brown mascara you just want it your lashes to just stay put or like curled you can use it but I actually don't like to use it as mascara I like to use it as um, a brow gel so I'll put it on my brows after I do my eyebrows and I like the fact that it keeps my eyebrows in place and honestly like I thought it was gonna be a little flaky because sometimes when you buy brow gel it gets a little flaky but it doesn't get flaky at all the only boo-boo that I caused is I made it really dirty looking like because you know I use it and then I brush my brows with it and then I put it back in and I make it really dirty but overall it's a good good brow gel I was using like the Mali Beauty brow gel for a long time and that costs way more than this so this is a really great drugstore alternative to the Mali Beauty one the next product is the Maybelline color elixir color sensational lip gloss or lip lacquer it is the cutest little packaging it looks like a lipstick container but it's a lip gloss it has a doe foot applicator which makes it very easy to apply and the color that I got is so beautiful it's called rose Redefined fine you guys know me by now if you guys have been watching me forever I love pink like pink is my favorite color to wear and so of course I picked a pink one and I really like this like I regret not buying multiple colors just because you know I only wanted buy one because I didn't know if I would like it or not but I like it because it gl glides on really creamy what you see on the packaging is what you get on your lips like the color pigmentation is phenomenal like it's really great color payoff I just think that it is, I love it. But the only thing that I dislike is that it kind of has a floral scent. I'm not into floral scents when it comes to lip glosses. I'm more into like sweet scents like cherry, vanilla, or even mint, but flower smells. I mean, but the scent isn't so strong, so it's not really bothering me. And maybe I'm a little bit more sensitive to scents because I'm pregnant, but I do smell a slight floral scent. But when you put it on, the texture is, I don't think it's too thick at all. Like, I think it's very creamy and you honestly don't need to put a lot because if you do put a lot, it just looks a little too crazy and your lips look so shiny when you put it on. I definitely recommend it and if you can find a coupon in your Sunday paper or go online and Google like Maybelline coupon, definitely get some colors and try out maybe even two because I think they're totally worth it. Wet n Wild has these new five eyeshadow palettes. They have like a colorful one, they have like one that's mainly purple. I chose a neutral one just because I wanted to buy it to compare it to the Walking on Eggshells Wet n Wild trio that I love so much. And so the color that I chose is called 395A The Naked Truth and it comes with five colors a base, an eyelid, a definer, a brow bone, and a crease. 
and I absolutely love the crease color. The crease color I can just wear alone as like a single eyeshadow and I'm good to go. The definer is really great if you have if you're like a brunette and have brown hair. You can totally use that to do your brow bone or not your brow bone, your eyebrow hairs. And then the eyelid color I think would be my least favorite color because it didn't really show up too much on my skin. And then there's a base which I actually prefer to use on my brow bone instead of as a base. And then the brow bone color is very shimmery, so it's something that I wouldn't wear. But there are so many options, and as far as the quality of the product, I like it. I love the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I think they're very creamy, and they're very pigmented for the price. I also picked up at the drugstore the brand new Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And... Honestly, I'm gonna just put it out there and say that it's not really my favorite primer. I don't really like silicone gel kind of base primers. My favorite drugstore one would be the Rimmel one that I reviewed in a previous video. I'll link that below. But um, I don't really like that it, feel, it feels like um, chafing gel. And if you guys um, watch YouTube four years ago, back in the day, like all the beauty YouTubers were talking about how the Monistat chafing gel was a great alternative to the high-end primers out there. And it really is. If you guys like look at the ingredient list, it's pretty much the same thing. You're pretty much putting chafing gel on your face. So this baby skin is 0.67 fluid ounces. And then the Monistat Chafing Gel that I keep telling you guys about is 1.5 ounces and they're both $6.99 in pricing. So you're going to get twice as much product if you just buy the Chafing Gel. The reason why I'm not really into this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer is because I've tried many type of like those silicone type of based or I don't know if it's silicone that I'm talking about but it feels like, like a weird consistency. I've tried many of those and they don't work very well for my skin because I have acne prone skin and very oily skin and I notice when I use this and I've tested this many 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 times it just doesn't absorb my oil and it doesn't make my face mattified and that's what I'm looking for which is why I prefer the Rimmel primer as opposed to the baby skin if I'm comparing like two drugstore facial primers. The next product is actually a gift that my cousin Donna gave me for Christmas. She gave me a bunch of like amazing drugstore products and I can't wait to use them and test them out and also review it for you guys and one of them was the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Flared Mascara and I have to say like I didn't expect for this mascara to hold a curl but but it definitely holds a curl and I like that it doesn't clumps it doesn't clump my lashes at all but I find that it's not lengthening so if you like really long crazy length lashes this probably won't be for you but if you like nicely separated lashes voluminous lashes and lashes that holds a curl this is definitely amazing I've been meaning to share this in a review I've had it forever it is the Neutrogena moisture smooth color stick I have it in soft raspberry number 60 and it's one of those like lip crayons or lip balm slash lipsticks and I really like this I like it so much because it is very very moisturizing there are lots and lots of lip crayons out there that are drying or that to stain the lips but don't moisturize but this moisturizes so beautifully like my lips feel like I'm using chapstick and lip gloss and lip balm all at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how my lips feel. They feel so moisturized. And also it has a very pleasant scent. It has like a, a mango or a tropical kind of scent, which I really enjoy because I'm into sweet scents, not like floral scents when it comes to like lip products. I just recommend it. I love this color. I think that it, I think anyone can wear it and it's a color that looks very professional. Like you can wear it to work if you work at an office setting and it won't be like too bam in your face but you still look very put together. Oh, I love it. It's called Soft Raspberry and it has been one of my go-to colors that I wear on a regular basis. So I definitely recommend it. You guys gotta try it. The last product I want to review is a liquid eyeliner which is a gift from my cousin Donna and it is the Milani iTech liquid eyeliner. First of all, you have to shake it before you use it. So you shake it and I like it because it's a felt tip liner and it's very, very small. So it fits in your purse. It's nice and convenient. And then when you apply it on, I noticed that it applies on wet. So you do have to wait for it to dry or like fan your 
eyelids for it to dry but after it sets after it dries it will not smudge off you're gonna need some heavy duty eye makeup remover and i'm very much impressed because i love myself the imamoko k palette eyeliner but this is really awesome the only thing is that it takes a while to dry so you just have to wait for it to dry but other than that it doesn't go anywhere and it's one of the blackest of black liquid liners i have seen so this is definitely a must buy at the drugstore so that is my drugstore haul and review those are some new drugstore products available for you and let me know which one was your favorite or which product that I reviewed that you think is awesome that you're gonna go out and try and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up like the video it kind of lets me know that I'm doing a good job with the demos and the swatches and all that jazz because I really feel like demos and swatches are so important because you guys get to see the color and how it applies on and all that jazz so if you guys haven't, please subscribe to my channel, April Athena 7. And also I have daily vlogs if you guys are interested. It's April Justin TV. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.